Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my Porsche walkaround videos. If you'd like to watch my YouTube videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit the like button and feel free to comment down below. This truly helps with the YouTube algorithm and therefore the growth of my YouTube channel. You can also directly contact me via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walk around video, we're going to take a look at this beautiful 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S Coupe. This vehicle is part of our Porsche approved certified pre-owned selection. So if this 911 has your interest, please call me directly via cell phone or email. In this video, of course, we're going to do a detailed walk around, talk about this specification in general, and of course, also talk about the latest generation Porsche 911 in general, which this one is the model code 992, introduced here in the US market as a model year 2020. The 992 is a complete redesign versus the previous generation 911, which was model code 991, which Porsche produced here in the US market from model year 2012 to model year 2019. Looking here at the front, we can see the original front fascia design for the latest generation 911. The latest generation 911 is now the eighth generation of the iconic Porsche 911 sports car. This one finished in gentian blue metallic. In 2020, Porsche offered two blue colors. Uh, metallic colors for the 911 which is this gentian blue metallic and the other one is night blue metallic the gentian blue being a sportier blue color brighter as you of course can notice feel free to check out some other videos on the night blue metallic uh, 911s on my youtube channel itself this one also has the upgraded led headlights now led headlights are standard for the latest generation 911 but this one has the pdls plus the porsche dynamic light system plus version of the led headlights also noticeable is the very white front design of the latest generation 911 and some of the classic 1970s, 80s design cues can be seen, for example, in the shape of the front hood, also the length of the front hood, and also these beautiful lines here in the middle. Feel free to go back, for example, to the classic 930 turbo in the air-cooled days to see some of those similar design cues. Also, some of these design cues can be seen here in the uh, shape of the front bumper, how angular it is. For example, in the 991, it was much more rounded than the front fascia. We can also recognize some of those design cues from back in the day in the fenders, how much wider they are on the latest generation 911, and also how the headlight is positioned within the front fender. The stands, the front track basically of the latest generation 911, much wider also as the previous 991. And Porsche no longer uh, between the all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive version has a difference in the width. So all the 992s now have the same width, regardless of an all-wheel drive Carrera or a two-wheel drive Carrera. This specific one is a Carrera S, so this is a rear-wheel drive S model. The engine is a twin-turbo flat six, producing officially 443 horsepower, in this case connected to the eight-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission. The wheels are the optional exclusive design wheels, 20 inch in the front, Porsche now running at 21 inch in the back, which is also new for the 992. We did use 21 inches in the back on the previous generation 911, but that was only exclusively, uh, exclusively reserved to the GT3 RS and to the GT2 RS. So again, now running at 21 inch in the back, a 305 rear section tire, which is the same as the previous generation in terms of width, but this is the latest generation 911 tire. Uh, with the new uh, coating from Porsche, specifically developed with Porsche and the individual tire manufacturers uh, approved by Porsche for the latest 911 generation. Being an S model, the brake calipers are finished in red. If this would be a Carrera model, the brake calipers, uh, calipers would be finished in satin black. The exclusive design wheels are a classic design that go back many years within the Porsche brand and are the closest to the original Fuchs design wheels from the air cool days. And again, feel free to check it out. The spelling of Fuchs is F-U-C-H-S. Okay, some other factory options on this one next to the exclusive design wheels and the PDLS Plus headlights are also that the inside is finished with the beautiful truffle brown interior, which we'll see in a little bit. But when we get back here to the rear, we can see the latest generation design here. The rear spoiler now is 25% larger as the previous generation 911. Uh, some of that extra dimensions can definitely be seen that the uh, rear spoiler now goes all the way here in the back fenders. And again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, look how wide the new 992 is in its width, especially here on the back, looking fantastic. Being an S model, it runs the four exhaust tips coming out of the rear end. If this would be a Carrera model, we would have two exhaust tips, one on each side. Now, again, being an S, it has the four exhaust tips. It also the latest generation tail lights of the 911. Now we used to have the connecting tail lights between the, the individual units on the 991, the previous generation. 
Uh, that was only being used on the all-wheel drive models, but now regardless of all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive, Porsche went back to that more classic design. We had this reflector bar back in the air-cooled days that typically had the Porsche letters on there, and Porsche kind of wants to go back to that classic design. So when the lights are on, you have this very white LED strip going all the way across, creating that classic, sporty Porsche design. Some other cool design features many times uh, mentioned before in my previous YouTube videos is the engine deck. The fact that this is a two-wheel drive version means that the uh, slats here in the middle are finished in high gloss black and also the amount of slats. This is 911, this is the third brake light or 992, another cool little design cue. Another cool design cue here is in the back of the tail lights. If you look here very close in the tail light itself, you can see these little lines here. And again, go back, for example, the classic 930 turbo. Uh, the bumpers here in the US marketplace had this trapoy shape area both in the front and rear and just to kind of get that classic design from the trapoy bumpers uh, from the classic days back into the modern day 911 they integrated that design feature within the LED tail lights. A backup camera is standard here for the US market the same for front and rear parking sensors and of course I already mentioned the quad exhaust pipes for the S model. Let's have a look on the inside again I mentioned the Full truffle brown interior in this one, a very high-end interior package when it comes to the amount of leather that Porsche applies uh, with the truffle brown. So let's go over it. You can see the top side of the um, door panel fully covered in truffle brown. The whole middle section here of the door panel finished in truffle brown. The armrest in the door panel finished in truffle brown. Of course the seat fully covered in truffle brown. Also the dashboard covered in truffle brown, both on the upper section as even the lower section. Just fantastic how Porsche does that. The knee pad here in the middle around the center console, once again finished with truffle brown leather and also of course also the armrest here in the middle. These seats are the optional 14-way power sport seats. These are also completely redesigned versus the previous generation 911. Uh, very different in comfort level versus the previous one. Really love the new design, how supportive they are and also the versatility for different body types to be very comfortable in the latest 911 sports car. Another extra that this one has is the matching seat belt. So these are the truffle brown seat belts, beautifully combined, of course, in this case with the interior color. Some other features on the car, as I mentioned, of course, the eight-speed PDK dual clutch transmission, which is now standard. We also have these seats being 14-way power sports seats with memory. They also are ventilated and heated, which especially the ventilation in the Florida marketplace is very well appreciated. The steering wheel is now also standard as a multifunctional steering wheel on the previous generation 911. The 991, the multifunctionality was still an extra, but on the latest generation, this is a standard feature. With the 443 horsepower twin turbo flat six, the top track speed of this car is about 190 miles an hour and the zero to sixties in the two wheel drive S are about three and a half seconds. Incredible performance level from the modern day Carrera S model, especially if you compare it to a car from 10 or 20 years ago. Some other feature that this one has, as you can see, is the Bose surround sound speakers. I mentioned that the 14-way seats also come with the memory feature. You can see there in the door. It also means that this one has the power steering column from all the year 2020. Let's have a quick look on the inside. There we go, where we see the latest generation 911 dashboard. And again, they were trying to combine modern technology with classic look. So again, uh, feel free to check out some pictures from about 30 years ago in the air cool days where you have this shape going all the way across. We still have the analog RPM in, right in the middle and then now we have digital both on the left and right hand side but still these classic circles in front of us which is typical Porsche design. Here we can see the latest PDK gear selector. We have reverse neutral drive on the selector itself, park and manual right here as all of them of course have the shifting pedals on the PDK which we have an upshift on the right and a downshift on the left. This one also has the optional adaptive cruise control system. Now the cruise control handle is down here. You can see here the ability to change the preset distance on the adaptive cruise control. And then we have some other features here in the middle, which includes in this case also, this one has a front axle lift system as an optional extra. And we have the sport mode. And then new for the 992 is a mode called wet mode. So the Porsche uh, team developed a system in the front wheel wells where um, sensors are detecting the amount of volume of water and depending on the amount of volume of water being detected the vehicle will advise you to activate wet mode. This will basically reduce the amount of power uh, being um, um, put through the drivetrain and also change the traction control settings and also the rear spoiler in terms of slippery weather conditions. The car overall of course in beautiful condition, the mileage just below 24,000 uh, miles is being offered as a Porsche approved certified pre-owned vehicle here for the US market. So please contact me directly for me to explain all the beautiful benefits of buying a Porsche approved certified pre-owned 911. 
Thanks so much for joining me on this walk around video. Again, my name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. Let's do a final walk around on this specific Gentian Blue with Truffle Brown 992 Carrera S Coupe. Again, the latest generation Porsche 911. Unfortunately, a lot of rain here in the Florida afternoon, but such a fantastic vehicle, of course, to capture here for the YouTube channel. Thanks so much once again for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and please contact me directly. Keep sharing the Porsche passion, and please be safe out there. Thank you. Bye-bye.